The compressor is not running. Well, there it is. The compressor just kicked on. <clears throat> About 35 watts running through the 110 when the compressor is running. So as the compressor runs a bit, the amps are going up. This is watts, 67 watts. Okay, so it's taken 29 minutes for the compressor to shut off the first time. Um, it was minus three a few seconds ago and supposedly got down to minus four Fahrenheit before shutting down and it'll cycle between minus four and about plus four probably from now on so almost half an hour to chill it down with nothing in it and power use now that it's shut down zero point six of a watt so the inside is obviously still warm The part where the sensor is got down to minus four, but it only took a couple minutes and it's right back up. And it'll run a little bit until it gets back down to minus four. It's still below freezing. These numbers are in Fahrenheit. And now with the compressor running again, it's about 40 watts, which is about half of what it was when it was first turned on. So the original readings were a bit misleading. It seems to take quite a bit of power when it's first turned on. And It'll run for a bit to cool down and then it'll cycle on and off but during that process it's using half the power that it did on the first cycle. So yeah about 40 watts. It's a little bit less efficient than it would be off of 12 volts because I'm running it on 120 volts AC. And again as the compressor starts to build up pressure the power use goes up it's been about 23 hours and it seems to be cycling on for six minutes and off for three minutes okay it has just turned on so 0.6 of an amp <sighs> little over 40 watts again it'll build up a bit as the compressor builds up pressure and then drop but yeah about 40 watts about half a kilowatt hour per day so even in non-ideal conditions, a 100 watt solar panel should run this. Half a kilowatt hour in 24 hours. 
and the compressor has been running and it's you know dropped down a bit now so it's a bit less than the 40 watts it was drawing before just turned on running on 110 volts 120 volts a little alpacool and this is watts 30 watts Alright, so it's a little over a day later, 25 hours, and this is just shut off, and I started a timer, we'll see what its duty cycle is, of course with it off, it's only drawing half a watt and with the compressor off it's starting to warm up it'll probably get to plus four before turning back on again no it's at zero and I just heard the compressor turn on it has been on for off for just under two minutes and it is now drawing about 43 watts and it is as typical with these the power consumption builds up as the compressor builds up pressure so about 45 watts when it's running and let's see it has used 0.68 of a kilowatt hour in 24 hours so 600 is that true? 680 watt hours per day that's running drawing about 45 watts and it just shut down again at about four minutes or so so it cycles about two minutes on and two minutes off draws about 45 watts while it's on and takes about 0.7 of a kilowatt hour per day which is actually a little bit more than the big one so that's kind of surprising the little one in the long run used a bit more power than the big one mainly owing to its duty cycle being 50 percent instead of a third for the big one Okay, it's been about 23 hours. And 
This has been cycling. This is the little albacool. And it's been cycling. It was set at 33 degrees to refrigerate but not freeze. And it's been cycling on for about a minute and a half and off for seven minutes. So the duty cycle is a lot less. And right now I want to know kilowatt hours used. So in the past 23 hours I have used 0.18 of a kilowatt hour. So I mean worst case scenario you'd use 200 watt hours per day. At this rate, I, you know, I could run probably both of them off of one 100 watt panel with a small deep cycle battery. Chances are you could set the little one to refrigerate and the big one to freeze and run both of them off of a 100 watt system with a small deep cycle battery to keep them going overnight. Okay, this is the large Alpacool cooler. And it is set to refrigerate. The compressor just turned on, I guess at about 36 degrees, and it is set for 32. And with this setting, it, it, in an 80 degree room, it seems to run for about 5 minutes, and then shut off for 15 while it's still running let me check this it is using focus it is using about 44 watts with it running 44 watts 43 thereabouts so it's been on for about 24 hours and has used about 0.3 kilowatt hours so about 300 watt hours per day in refrigeration mode So realistically, you could probably run one of these in refrigeration mode and one in freezer mode from a single 100 watt panel with a deep cycle battery to keep them going overnight. If you don't, you know, track the sun with your panel, just have it flat somewhere. I think you can get maybe 500 watt hours per day. So plenty to run this.